welcome back to my channel I'm the tiny vegan and if you haven't already please like and subscribe if you'd like to because it'll really help my channel and hit the notification bell because I upload every Friday at 7 p.m. so in today's video we're doing a super drug haul so it's like all the brands in super drug that don't test on animals and obviously a vegan so I've taken pictures of like all the different makeup stores that are in my super drug my super drug is quite small though that um, are cruelty free and a lot of them are vegan as well but do be careful because although some of the items are cruelty free they might not all be vegan so they might have honey in them or gelatine they can put that in non-cruelty free things can't they sometimes they put like slug slime in things and like calves hooves you just never know these days so be careful but a lot of them actually do have labelled vegan so I think it's like a lot of elf stuff has like labelled vegan and things like that and obviously all of the Superdrug own brand when it has the star that's all cruelty free so as long as it says vegan on it you can like buy anything of that and that's all cruelty free what I don't understand though is when brands like Colgate put vegan on like their toothpaste or something but Colgate tests on animals so it's not vegan it just proves that people really don't know what veganism is but anyway so we're doing obviously fully vegan or cruelty free um makeup and just like a kind of toiletries haul all from super drug so some of this stuff i already have but i thought it's like some are probably my favorite things so i thought i'd show you anyway so to start off with we'll start off with the vitamin e range so this is the intense moisture cream and this is so thick and creamy it's really nice i actually have tried some of this as you can see and it smells the best. It smells like sun cream, but nicer. And it's really, really thick, like really thick. So maybe if you're prone to like acne, obviously I'm not an expert, but this is in my personal experience. If like you, um, you're prone to like acne or something, then maybe it's not the best cream because it might clog your pores because it's like an intense moisture cream because it's really thick, but it's really nice and it smells insane. If you just have like normal skin or dry skin, then this is really nice. And as you see, it's all certified by Cruelty Free International. All the vitamin E range is quite quite good for sensitive skin, I'd say. But um this but it's also like quite a thick moisturizer, but it smells mm, delightful. So also in the vitamin E range, we got this gentle oatmeal exfoliator. So this one, it's more like I don't know how to describe it, it's more gentle. On your skin so if you have like um really sensitive skin then i don't know what i'm gonna do why did i put that on my fingers and now okay i'm gonna have to go wash this off give me a second and i'm back oh but now i don't know if i'm sitting in the same place where's my bum mark here okay so yeah the exfoliator i'd say it's pretty it's better for like um more sensitive skin because when you have like really sensitive skin or you have acne or something it's not very good to exfoliate all the time because you take the heads off the spots and things or if you have like really really sensitive skin this one's a little bit softer and again it just smells so good so basically the all the vitamin e range i think it's under four pounds so i think it's something like 3.99 for both like each i think but I think it's a really good range, to be honest. It's quite an intense range, though, because you know they do, like, their tea tree range, and that's quite thin stuff. So it's, like, a thinner uh, moisturiser, and, like, the... Uh, it's a bit more oily, I want to say. This is really thick and creamy. So it depends on your skin type. So, oh, also, I thought I'd show you this. So I've actually used all of this, but I thought we'd show you it anyway. This is just the brightening day cream, like, the normal one. Like, this is like an intense one. This is just your normal super drug cream. And this is really nice. Again, it's very thick, though. It smells slightly different. I still prefer the vitamin E one, though. This is like a brightening cream. So it kind of gives you more of a dewy look. But again, it is a very nice face cream. I thought we'd show you that, because that was like my staple for ages. And I think the vitamin E one's a bit more expensive. So I want to say, I might be wrong, I will look, that this is about 3 99 and this is like... 2.99 i think something like that there's a bit of difference in price i also got the palmer's lip salve this lip salve is so nice honestly it's so nice it has like the oh i'll just show you actually if you see 
it has like almost a lip shape thing oh, I don't know how to describe it because when you put it on like that it ends up like molding to your lip shape so it goes on so smoothly and so nice it's so creamy this is probably my favorite lip salve it doesn't test on animals again this one is vegan I don't think it's that this one actually says it on the packet though but it's a really nice lip salve so let's go along from where I saw them. So first it's Revolution. So I thought I'd show you this highlighter because this is my friend's highlighter actually. And I just borrowed it to show you. Because it's, oh, it's such a nice highlighter. It's very powdery though. I don't know if it's not got a really bright glisten. It's more of like a pinky powder. But in this range, I think this is about four pounds. In this range you get, um, loads of different ones you can have like an icy highlighter a gold one a pinky one this is like a pink tinged one okay. but do be careful because some of them like i said it will say cruelty free on the back but if it doesn't say vegan especially on the back of revolution because most of them do then it probably means that it's not vegan it's just cruelty free which doesn't really mean that it's cruelty free but it's just not tested on animals um yeah so this one is nice it's quite powdery though so it doesn't give you that pop highlighter so the one i'm wearing today I actually tried out because I literally bought this the other day. It cost me about six pounds, but this is bronzer, bronzer. This is bronzer, highlight, and blush all in one palette. And I used. I wanted to try it out, you know. And you can see my highlight is popping today, like in the corners of my eyes, my cheeks. This doesn't give you that. This is really subtle. Whereas if you get this palette, or I guess if you went for the icy version of this, but for two pound more, you get like all the different types of like highlight and you get um the bronzer and the blush as well whereas obviously you only get this one and it's more pow powdery it's not got such a pop whereas this one it's such a pop honestly you don't need much and it would just it just really pops i guess that's because it's more of a white color isn't it but yeah then they have the blush and they have more of a more of a pinky goldy highlight as well which is really nice if you've got like more of a goldy browny eyeshadow on and then you put like a a goldy highlight in the corner that'd be lovely but for two pound more i think it's just worth getting this to be honest because although the palettes are smaller you get so much more and i think the highlights it's nice to have the option to use different highlights rather than just having the one so I might as well carry on with this stuff. So basically, I looked online and I got this one for my birthday and it isn't vegan. It's one of the only Revolution eye palettes that isn't vegan, so do not buy it if you're vegan. It was for my birthday, so I will carry on using it because I think it's better than wasting it, but it isn't vegan. Most of the others are, but it should say on the back. Thought I'd leave it in to show how easy it is to make that mistake, because my friend wouldn't have bought it for me, obviously, if she'd known that it wasn't vegan. So I got this one for my birthday. That's why it's a little bit worn on the front. This is the reloaded one. And I, this is such a nice palette. I love this palette. Revolution do some really nice palettes. The ones that I, the thing that I would say about the eyeshadows from Revolution is you do get a lot of fallout. Yeah. You can see it's like all fallen out just from when I've used it before with an eyeshadow brush. So you do get a lot of fallouts. But I mean, you just have to brush it off your cheeks. That's just what I do. But yeah, if you don't want a lot of fallout, then probably Revolution isn't the palette to go for. Palettes to go for. I would say about this one is that. I like, I like quite a matte eyeshadow in like my um, crease and everything. And then I like to just go over just the front bit, like this half, first half. I'm not a makeup guru. I have no idea what I'm talking about. This is just what I like to do. Is I do like this half of my eye with like a bit of shimmer. The thing that I would say is that every single color in here, apart from one, I think it is or two are all glitters so this is more as I do like a matte because it looks a bit weird putting like glitter all over your eye I mean it looks good on some people but I think it just looks a bit weird on me I much prefer to have matte and then have glitter half so the thing is with this one is that you only get I think it's like two possibly three mattes in this one they are all glitter shades so the next one is this Barry M mascara may have dented the packaging it's actually a really nice mascara this one i have put on because you know i want to see what it's like it's got a really thin wand it's not like a chunky one because i do like a chunky mascara um like quite a chunky one like the Too faced this Too faced mascara mascara it's the best in the sex one 
and this one is a chunky boy like look at that it's also really clumpy so if you like a kind of spider's leg clumpy mascara then a Too Faced is 30 pounds for a mascara so not very affordable i think the barry m ones i'm definitely under a tenner but i can't remember exactly how much it is but this one i really like because you can build up so if you just put a few more layers on then it's really buildable it's a nice mascara I also got, let's go for this one, this concealer. So if you didn't know, I don't know what it's called. Is it like B full stop or is it just B? I don't know what how you what you call this make, but they're not tested on animals. And this one, it does have the little bunny symbol because you also want to be careful because some things which, if they don't have the PETA symbol or the Cruelty Free International symbol, they can put that they're cruelty free if they put just in writing cruelty free it can say that it's cruelty free but that's because the end product hasn't been tested on animals so the ingredients will be tested on animals whereas PETA and cruelty free international approved things have not been tested on animals at all so yeah this concealer I wanted a new concealer because if you're like me and I don't like to wear a full face of foundation like I don't I don't really ever wear foundation because I find it just looks a bit cakey on me I really don't like it and I don't have time for that I just use, like to use like eyeshadow and stuff like that but if you're like me and you don't use a foundation but you like to use a concealer like under your eyes which is what I do or if I have like a spot which is really popping then I will use, I like to have a concealer which will blend in because I don't know if you know, if you notice that like some concealers when you put them on and you're not wearing foundation, you can see that you're wearing concealer. This, I tried this out this morning because I've got it on now because um, I really want to see what it was like because if it was like the others where you can like, it's really, it's really obvious that you're wearing concealer because not because it's the wrong shade, because it's the right shade, but it's just, if you're wearing foundation, it would look fine, but because you're not wearing foundation, it just looks like you're wearing concealer. This is really nice. I can't remember how much it was. I want to say about four pounds, I think, but it's a really nice concealer, and it's pretty much my colour exactly, which I completely guessed, because obviously at the moment you're not allowed to test things out, but you can see it's pretty much exactly my colour. It's really nice concealer. It's quite thick, but it really does... Um, I just use my finger, I don't like using the beauty blender or anything. It really does blend out really nicely and you can't really see that you're wearing concealer, which is always what I want from a concealer. If I was wearing foundation, I wouldn't mind so much because you can sort of see that you're wearing foundation on the rest of your face, so it would kind of fit in. Next, I got this um, Barry M Cole Pencil. It's the blue one, which I'm wearing right now because I wanted to try it out because I'm quite fussy with my eyeliners. I think some pencil eyeliners, they are so hard, you have to like poke yourself in the eye, like drag it along your eye to get any kind of like pigment out on your eye. But this is lovely. It's so creamy and soft and it's um, blendable as well. So it kind of smudges out, which is what I always like to do because I don't like a really obvious blue line. I like to be a little bit blended. This is really good. This is two ninety nine though, so two ninety nine is two ninety nine is very good. Only thing I would say is a classic coal pencil is that when you try and sharpen it, the end just like the actual pencil bit just like breaks off and starts smudging. And I've tried doing it with a knife. I've tried doing it with pencil sharpener. So if anyone has any tips for me, I'm all ears because every single time I get one of these. They're so good, they're so soft, they're so creamy. I'm like, oh, this is great, isn't it? And then as you can see, I've tried to sharpen it and it just breaks off. It's a shambles. But apart from that, I love this and I love the colour, especially for the price as well. It's very good. Um, next, we got this five pack of lipsticks. So this was Revolution Pro. And it's really weird though, because when I looked at it, I was like, oh, these have to be refillables because it was seven pound for five lipsticks. But actually it's not, it's just, just five proper lipsticks. It does say it on the front, but I was still so confused. And it does say cruelty free and vegan on the bottom, which is good. So they do different packs. So you can have a darky, dark, like um, purpley colors or brownie colors or nudie colors. I went for the nude and they also do um, matte ones or normal ones. So I went for matte. 
I would say, obviously, for seven pounds, it's very good because you can spend. It's it's like five pound normally for a lipstick, and then it's seven pound for these five. Um, the thing that I would say with these is, if you see these nudes here, they're a nice colour, but they are very. Um, when I tried them on, what's the word? Not flaky but kind of they almost congeal when you're putting them on which obviously isn't the nicest but it's only the pale ones that do it so the darker shades in here which I haven't looked to see if it does on my hand and it does do a bit it almost separates I don't know if you know what I mean with a nude matte whereas these two colors which are the darker ones they don't do that and that's what I'm wearing right now I think I'm wearing this one the protect one yeah, I think that's the one I'm wearing now because I wanted to try them all on. And yeah, like I said, the nudes, they do like crumble. And it's honestly, it's like, it's like, it's just not a smooth finish. So I actually probably wouldn't recommend buying the nude, nude ones of this. I just recommend if you're going to, then possibly buy the darker colours and maybe buy, let's say, these two individually. And then maybe even get a different brand because I don't know if it's all Revolution Pro or if I got some which will just have a bad day i'm not entirely sure the other two um darker ones are lovely and i think if you mixed the really light ones if you mix them with like i don't know some lip gloss or something then it would probably be a smoother finish but that's not really what you're buying your lipstick for is it to mix it so next we got this elf i felt like i had to get something from elf i've never had anything from elf before and i really want some setting spray so we got some illuminating mist and set. One reason why I wanted setting spray is because all my eyeshadows have quite a lot of fallout. So I'm hoping that some setting spray will really help to set them in place. So all of ALF is cruelty free and quite a lot of it is vegan as well. Um, if you go into Superdrug as well, it's, it is good because not only will it say it on the back of the packets, they actually have it on their plaques where they say like how much it is. It'll say cruelty free and it'll have a vegan sign as well, which is really good because it saves you just looking on the back of everything. So this is the uh, Illuminating Mist and Set. It gives you kind of, because I did test this out, I haven't tested it out on like full face makeup, I just test it out on my hand. It takes a while to dry. I don't know if that's because I spray it really close. But it doesn't give you, it's not one which gives you like a really dewy look or a really matte look. It's kind of just a bit of a shimmer. It's a bit of an in-between. And last, we have the Body Mists. The Body Mists are lovely. It does say suitable for vegetarians and vegans on the back, not only because not only on the, the um, labels and on the internet. And obviously, that's a super drug sign if you didn't know, which I'm sure you do. And so that's the sign that it's super drug own brand and it's going to be cruelty free. And these body mists are lovely. They're one eighty nine at the moment. I think they are. I don't know if they're usually more expensive, but they're really, really, really nice. They are so pungent, and they smell. It's, you know, body mists, usually it's better to have perfumes because your body mists don't last very long. You can smell them for like half an hour and then you have to keep pumping. No, like I put these on in the morning and you can smell them through the evening. Like I can smell myself. It smells delicious. And it's also a thing called a layering lab. So you can buy two and combine them. So I've had pretty much every single flavour that they do. So like exotic and the sorbet one, those work really well together. And you can just spray them on and it creates like your own individual body mist flavour. These are lovely. I would definitely recommend as a body mist. They're really good because they definitely last and they smell, honestly, so good. Oh, lovely. Yo, and don't forget to comment down below if what your favorite and don't forget to comment down below your favorite cruelty. No. And that's the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And do, and come. No, that was awful. Thank you so much for watching, guys. That's no. So that's the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment down below your favourite cruelty-free vegan makeup because I'd love to check it out. I'm always looking for some new makeup. And I'll see you next week. That's so shit. That's the end of the video, guys. That's the end of the video, guys.
That's the end of the video guys. Thank you so much for watching and comment down below your favourite vegan cruelty free makeup because I'd love to check it out. I'm always looking for new vegan makeup and I'll see you next week.